So the weather is getting a lot warmer and we are itching to get the kayaks back in the water. But with all these travel restrictions, we're going to have to stay a little bit closer to home. Quite a lot closer, actually. We're just going over there. That's the, the ridge town. It was scuttled there um, deliberately in 1974 to act as a breakwater for the harbour at Port Credit. It's called the Ridge Town today, but that wasn't its original name. It was originally christened the William E. Corey, and it was built in Chicago in 1905. It was one of four identical ships at 560 feet long each. They were the biggest on the Great Lakes at the time. They refer to Lakers. Those are freight ships that are specifically designed to travel on the Great Lakes. They're narrower so they can get through the locks. And of course, because they're on fresh water all the time, their working lives are a lot longer than if they were at sea. This one was serviceable until about 1970. And this actually isn't the first time it was scuttled. It was sunk at Nantico on Fort Erie temporarily to act as a breakwater while they were re renovating the harbor. Then they refloated it in 1974 and towed it here. I thought we'd go see it at around dawn when the lighting would be at its best. Dawn, or as close to dawn as it takes to muster all the troops and get on the water. You ready, Mom? Yes, I'm ready. All right, let's do this. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Ash. You ready? All set. I get to have a nap after this, right? Go time. First of all, I need to say hello to these pigeons. Oh, I just, we just crashed. I hope he has insurance. <laughs> Actually collided with a freighter. <laughs> and I won. So this is kind of cool. Check this out. There's a giant hole cut out of the side of this tanker. Engine room. This is the engine room. Hello? Anybody in here? Oh, Daddy! <laughs> oh my 
see you guys. Can we see him? Hello. Hello. Wicked! That's a cool boat. Stay cool, boat. I still think our boats are cooler, though. <laughs>